Hi Pisces, welcome back. How are you? <clears throat> I hope you're well and um, thank you for allowing me uh, to get caught up because I stopped on, I believe I stopped on cancer. So <clears throat> how was your weekend Pisces? I just want to tell you, it's good to see you again. Um, I've been super busy. Thank you for the private readings and the orders from my website. Thank you for being part of the soul family here at Priestess and Medium Rosalind. Uh, I love you. I want to give you some information here regarding your love and what's going on, whatever comes through. And I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> mm. Biases, I don't know if you drink coffee, but... I don't know, it just seems like to me a lot of Pisces wouldn't be drinking coffee because Pisces are so whimsical and Pisces are so intuitive, you know. It just seems like, you know, <laughs> isn't that funny? I don't see you drinking much coffee, Pisces. I love it. I love coffee, okay? I love my coffee. Let's see what's going on for you, uh, Pisces. And I just want to tell you that, you know, it's so important that we stick together at this time and that... You know, you're around people that are like-minded, like they vibe with you and they have thoughts and ideals, goals that you have because the stress that I'm hearing from some of my clients, I mean, it's incredible the amount of stress that some people are under because they're around people that don't really vibe with them. You know, it's like people that they, they don't match with them in that energy, you know, in the way of energy where your hopes and your dreams they match and they align together yeah that's a huge issue when you have totally different you know thoughts views and opinions Pisces as the other person wow let's get into your reading see what's going on mother father God blessed Holy Spirit oh look at the way I'm shuffling this morning okay please tell me about Pisces what's around them their love their relationships other things they may need to know, Mother, Father, God, bless the Holy Spirit, Pisces. And it is August now. I mean, it's fully August, Pisces. We're running right through this year. I cannot believe it's uh, August already. Mother, Father, God, bless the Holy Spirit. Tell us about Pisces. What they need to know here. Mm -hmm. What they need to know here, Pisces. I feel like Pisces, some secrets going to come out because that's what I'm hearing in my ear. It's like some secrets are going to come out. Mm, let's see here. Let's see what's going to happen here, Pisces. That's really what I'm getting. Like secrets are going to come out. Let's see. The water wheel, the chariot. Okay, Pisces, you've got major arcanas going on, okay? Oh, the wheel. So someone is coming towards you. I really feel that you've got situations, life drama, issues coming towards you. You're probably going to get a lot of things revealed, Cancer. Okay? Because you've got wheel and the chair. You've got destiny. It's like it's destined to come towards you. Someone may have been lying. Someone may be trying to sneak out of a relationship. Someone may be trying to get out of something that they previously arranged with you. This could be an air sign, uh, Pisces. Um, Pisces, this could be a cancer. Um, you might feel like this person or the situation really put the wheels of your life in focus and destiny, um, kind of like it was destined to happen. But this person or situation, it could be someone who's lying to you. It could be someone who tried to get away without completing something with you. Um, yeah, for some of you, this is all about money, comfort, security. Um, it's about other people that may be relying on you. Uh, and it's a ten of swords and five swords. Cause, so is this, it's been a lot of fighting. It's almost like this chapter may need to end with this person or the situation, Pisces. And it could definitely be about one person being almost like the caregiver, the one who's always consistent who likes to keep the home going, the bank accounts good. They like to keep groceries. They like to make sure the kids are taken care of. They like to make sure everything's consistent. And then we have this energy of mental stuff going on, fighting, 
um, feeling like you're exhausted and finally the ten of swords where it's all over. So this feels like maybe this person is aligned in your destiny or the situation you, you have playing out right now. I'm also hearing for some of you is debt. You've got debt going on. Um, yeah, it's some issue here with consistency, finances, the home, and someone wants to walk away. So this Eight of Cups energy, you may have turned your back by now on the situation or this person. Maybe they did this to you. Someone's walking away from the situation. I'm hearing there's something to do for, with some of you for harassment, like a, an actual, yeah, it is, okay. So Pisces, what's happening here is there's an actual uh, situation where someone may file a harassment charge. Someone's been battered. Nine of Wands, you might've held on too long, Pisces, or this other person may have harassed you for too long. Someone's beat up. You see his black eye and he's behind bars and he's still trying to, this is the energy of someone who they really can't do it anymore. They've been too beat up. There's something to do with the justice system here for some of you. So I would say try and document if there is something scary going on, Pisces, document it. And it's, someone's been carrying this around for a very long time. We got the nine of wands and the 10 of wands. So you were clinging really wanting the security one of you really really i mean it could have been you pisces i mean or it could be your partner but someone's clinging they're trying to stay stable it's a lot going on here it's a lot of effort you might have put into this there's confusion okay but there's multiple situations or multiple people that's your environment it's more than one more than one or two people involved here pisces queen of cups so here, divinity and your ancestors, um, your spiritual guides, they want you to be balanced. They want you to be at peace. They want you to understand that you can balance all these different elements of your life. You might need manifesting. You might need prayers. You might uh, really, especially for you, Pisces, you just taking bath rituals, that's really going to help you too. See how she's pouring the water, alchemy, balance, earth air, fire, water, those things that are around us all the time. They help to balance us emotionally and spiritually as well. Um, because what it is, is someone, you've been living from your heart and being the mother, and now you're kind of in this energy of confusion if this person or the situation is not supporting you as if as you supported this person or situation here. But I think the issue might have been that one of you was hanging on way too long, Pisces. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And it is about love, it looks like. Ace of Cups. So this is a lot of happiness that you may have shared with this person. I do feel like it's family too. I feel like there's children around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this Seven of Wands and the Six of uh, Pentacles here is like, <clears throat> really, someone is being way too defensive. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. And then they also need things at, at the same time. Six of Pentacles, like someone needs to help someone else. Someone needs to pay someone else. So for some of you, Pisces, that's going to be really, really personal inside the relationship. And for some of you, it is personal inside the relationship. But this other person, they also need you and they need this help. But you may be facing just such a huge burden here from this energy being drained from you, Pisces. Because how, you know, how can you really be in a good relationship, you know, if you're not being treated fair and equal? So we got two of swords, seven of cups, confusion. And then we do have some good cards here, but they're, they're like major arcanas coming out, Pisces. Okay, yeah. So I feel like this is going to be okay for you. This is going to be okay for you, Pisces, because we've got the two of swords where you're you're not quite sure what to what to choose yet. But we've got the archangel walking with you, the lion. That's what it represents, the strength card. So you're going to have strength. You've got ace of pentacles. So it's going to be a new beginning and it's going to be your finances are going to be okay. Your home is going to be okay because I can see divinity. I can see God helping you. Okay, I can see Mother and Father God helping you here. They're giving you strength. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to have stability and blessings. You're going to have this alchemy here that you need, the balance coming in. I think that at this time, you know, even if you're feeling kind of off 
balance and you're feeling like, oh, do I really have to deal with this? I feel like activating some of these things in your life to help you with your spirituality, your emotions is really going to pay off for you. Okay. It's really going to pay off for you, Pisces. <clears throat> All right, so Pisces, that's your reading. If you'd like to get in touch with me for your own reading, my information is below. Have a blessed rest of your day, Pisces. Bye-bye.